Steeped in tradition, the practice of making maple syrup can be traced back to pre-colonial America. Back in the early Native American days, they would boil the sap inside a dugout canoe-shaped log with hot rocks. Over time, when the colonialists were taught by the Native Americans, they started using cauldrons, big like witches' cauldron kind of big pots. From wooden buckets with cauldrons and primitive evaporators to present tubing systems with streamlined efficient evaporators, technology has played a major role in maple sugaring. Maple sugaring is taking maple sap, which is mostly water, around 98% water, and boiling it down till it thickens up so you're evaporating water out and eventually that makes syrup. So you're not adding anything, you're literally taking water out of maple sap and filtering it. Today, reverse osmosis is used to reduce the time it takes to boil the day's harvest. Reverse osmosis is a water filtration method. It's a mechanical means of separating out solids from water. So we take our 2% sugar content and raise it up to any level between 16 and 25% before we boil, which reduces our time and our energy consumption. 20 years ago, the same operation, we'd be running our evaporators for 24 hours straight and never get all the sap from one day. So it would back up. So after about a week, we would still have a week's worth of sap to boil because we'd be catching it. We never caught up. Now we can do it all in four hours. Other technologies, like monitoring systems, are being used to maintain the sugar woods more efficiently. In the woods, we have a spider web of tubing that's out there to collect sap. And we used to physically have to go to every tap and check to see if there were holes or go to different lines so we wouldn't know exactly where problems were. So it would take us up to a week in order to get the whole system to a point where we needed it. So remote monitoring, what it does is it allows us to know generally where the problems are or pinpoint it down to at least specific lines or areas. So if there's a problem, our turnaround time is very, very quick. Located in Chester, New Jersey, the Maple Shop carries all of the knowledge and equipment needed to start making maple syrup. Uh, good equipment basically means you're not taking a long time to make it, so you're not letting the sap sit in there for long periods of time in the evaporator. You're processing it quickly, so you're not getting mold buildup, you're not getting bacteria. You get a better product in regards to grade, so you actually get a lighter product, which is harder to make. So newer, better equipment makes lighter syrup, which is technically better. When you go to the grocery store, you buy blended syrup. So you might have 5,000 different farms. So you have 5,000 different flavor profiles. It lacks character. There's no real uniqueness to it. Bland, in my opinion. What you get from the maple shop is directly what I'm given from the trees, from nature. Lacking the harmful side effects other sweeteners have, real maple syrup is 100% natural and contains no coloring agents, artificial flavors, or additives. Many artificial sweeteners are tied to health problems, including fatigue, anxiety, depression, learning disabilities, the list goes on. Maple syrup has 10 times more calcium than honey, and it contains potassium. It has significant levels of manganese and zinc. It's a healthy alternative to refined sugars and alternative sweeteners. In addition, this sweet treat is known to provide energy and antioxidants to the body and can also boost the immune system while reducing inflammation. When used in appropriate amounts, maple syrup is actually healthy for you. Researchers have found more than 20 anti-cancer compounds in maple syrup. You may need less antibiotic when used in conjunction with maple syrup. Providing quality products from Vermont, New Jersey and veteran-owned companies, the Maple Shop brings ever-changing technology and knowledge to the maple world. We're bringing a mentality from Vermont that we really enjoyed working with, the, the local VOR movement and collaboration amongst your neighbors. Everything has a story here. Every product, we've spoken to the makers personally. When I had my son in December, the chocolate maker sent us baby gifts. I mean, we text each other and we talk and all of the local made items are just people that have walked into our store and said, hey, will you take a look, maybe you wanna sell this. Absolutely, because we wanna be involved with our community. We have gift boxes in our store made by our friend Jess of Scrumptious Secrets of Vermont, who grew up right here in Chester, New Jersey. We work with several breweries. We work with the granola where they use our syrup in it. Uh, it's, it's a collaborated effort to get everybody moving in the same direction. Because John was in the Marine Corps, allows us to have these connections with veteran-owned companies and sell their products like Black Rifle Coffee, Ground Pounder Coffee. We work with several farms in New Jersey that are making syrup for the first time 
in the last hundred years. Maybe their grandparents did, maybe they never did, but we're teaching them. I find it rewarding being able to help people to get started in syrup. I knew nothing when I started making maple syrup. I had a couple good teachers that taught me and mentors, and it's nice to be able to do that to other people. Innovative equipment and technology continue to move the industry forward, allowing producers to make better quality products in less time with less manpower. It's interesting with all the technology with maple syrup, you don't need that many people to make a good quality syrup anymore. We started our farm in Vermont in 2007, and things were much different back then. We walked tree to tree, there was no monitoring systems, we had to check for leaks every single day. We were wood fired, so we'd have to shove logs <laughs> into the evaporator. As far as tubing and reverse osmosis and better equipment in the sugar house, with the remote monitoring system, now we can drastically reduce our time and increase our production and less fuel consumption.